In this video, we're going to discover which 426 Hemi-powered Mopars were some of the fastest muscle cars and a bit of its history. Sit back, relax, and let's dive in. The 1970 Dodge Challenger RT 426 Hemi is 12th, with a 14-second quarter mile, traveling 104 miles per hour. By comparison, it was only the 17th fastest muscle car of 1970. Dodge produced 355 Hemi Challenger RTs, including 287 hardtops, 59 SE hardtops, and 9 convertibles. In terms of styling, the 1970 Dodge Challenger RT 426 Hemi was characterized by its bold and aggressive look, wide stance, long hood, and short roofline. It was available in various colors, including high-impact colors like Panther Pink, Go Mango, and Hemi Orange. Inside had luxury features, including bucket seats, a center console, and a sport steering wheel. This provided a comfortable and stylish driving experience, making the Challenger fun as a daily driver or quarter-mile runner. Overall, the 1970 Challenger RT was a highly regarded supercar loved for its impressive power and bold styling. Today, it is considered a classic and is highly sought after by collectors and fans of American muscle cars. The 1967 Dodge Coronet 500 Hemi is 11th, running a 13.9 second quarter mile, traveling 104 miles per hour. However, it was strong enough to be the fastest muscle car of 1967. No production numbers exist. It was a mid-sized muscle car produced by the Dodge division of Chrysler Corporation. It was offered in various models including the high-performance 500 series, which could be fitted with the powerful 426 Hemi engine. The 1970 Plymouth GTX 426 Hemi is 10th, with a 13.85 second quarter mile time, traveling 104 miles per hour. Ironically, it was also the 10th fastest muscle car of 1970. Regarding styling, the 1970 Plymouth GTX was similar to the standard GTX with a bold and aggressive look that included a distinctive grille, hood scoop, and rear deck wing. However, it was also fitted with several performance upgrades, such as a heavy-duty suspension, larger brakes, and a performance-tuned exhaust system. Despite its impressive performance, it was not a common car, with only 71 examples produced. Today, it is considered one of the most collectible and valuable muscle cars from the era, with original examples fetching high prices at auctions and car shows. The 1968 Plymouth GTX 426 Hemi is ninth, running a 13.85 second quarter mile, traveling 104 miles per hour. For perspective, during its day, the GTX was the eighth fastest muscle car of 1968. Plymouth produced 446 GTX in 1968, including 410 hardtops and 36 convertibles. The 1968 GTX with a 426 Hemi engine was a high-performance muscle car produced by the Plymouth division of Chrysler Corporation. It was the top-of-the-line performance model in the Plymouth lineup, and the 426 Hemi engine was the most powerful engine option available. Overall, the 68 GTX 426 Hemi was a highly regarded muscle car loved by car enthusiasts for its impressive power, bold styling, and luxurious features. The 1966 Plymouth Satellite 426 Hemi is 8th with a 13.80 second quarter mile, traveling 103.8 miles per hour. However, it was the second fastest muscle car of 1966. Plymouth produced 844 Hemi satellites in 1966, including 817 hardtops and 27 convertibles. The 66 satellite with a 426 Hemi engine was a muscle car option offered by Plymouth. It was available as a mid-sized car, and the Hemi engine was the most powerful engine option. Car and driver stated, The 1966 Plymouth Hemi satellite is the best combination of brute performance and tractable street manners we've ever driven. The 
The 1971 Dodge Super B came in seventh, running a 13.73 second quarter mile, traveling 104 miles per hour, and was the eighth fastest muscle car of 1971. Dodge produced 22 Hemi Super Bs in 1971. All were hardtops. The Super B was a mid-sized car in various models, and the 426 Hemi engine was the most powerful option. The Hemi engine was known for its impressive power, delivering 425 horsepower and 490 pound-feet of torque. The 71 Super B was designed with a bold and aggressive exterior, featuring a long hood, fastback roofline, and a sporty stance. Inside, the Roadrunner was fitted with comfortable and stylish features, offering a premium driving experience for the driver and passengers. The 1971 Plymouth Roadrunner 426 Hemi is sixth with a 13.5 second quarter mile traveling 106.5 miles per hour and was the third fastest muscle car in 1971. Plymouth produced 55 Hemi Roadrunners in 71. All were hardtops. The 1968 Dodge Charger RT 426 Hemi is fifth, running a 13.5 second quarter mile, traveling 105 miles per hour, and was the second fastest muscle car of 1968. Dodge produced 475 Hemi Chargers in 1968. All were hardtops. The 68 Charger RT was a full-sized car in the second-generation Charger lineup. The RT, which stood for road and track, was the top-of-the-line performance model featuring a range of performance enhancements over the standard Charger. Under the hood, the 68 Charger RT was fitted with a powerful engine, with options ranging from a 383 cubic inch V8 to a 426 cubic inch Hemi V8, delivering up to 425 horsepower. The Charger RT was also fitted with performance-oriented suspension and braking systems, making it a capable performer on the road or the track. The 1969 Dodge Charger 500-426 Hemi is fourth with a 13.35 second quarter mile, traveling 104 miles per hour, and was also the seventh fastest muscle car in 1969. Dodge produced 352 Charger 500s in 1969. Unfortunately, no breakdown by engine option is available. Under the hood, it was fitted with a powerful engine, with options ranging from a 383 cubic inch V8 to a 426 cubic inch Hemi V8, delivering up to 425 horsepower. The Charger 500 was a special edition of the standard Charger, featuring unique styling elements and performance enhancements. It was part of the second generation Charger lineup and was designed to be a more aerodynamic and racing oriented model. In terms of styling, the 1969 Dodge Charger 500 was characterized by its aerodynamic design, with a sleek and streamlined body that reduced wind resistance and improved overall performance. The 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner 426 Hemi is third, with a 13.34 second quarter mile, traveling 107.5 miles per hour, and was the third fastest muscle car of 1970. Plymouth produced 152 Roadrunners in 1970, including 74 coupes, 75 hardtops, and three convertibles. The Roadrunner was a budget-oriented muscle car designed to offer performance and style at an affordable price. The Hemi engine was one of the most powerful engine options in the Roadrunner lineup, delivering exceptional power and performance. The 1969 Plymouth Roadrunner Hemi is second with a 13.32 second quarter mile, traveling 107.7 miles per hour, 
However, when it was new, the Roadrunner was the sixth fastest muscle car of 69. Plymouth produced 797 Roadrunners in 1969, including 356 coupes, 421 hardtops, and 10 convertibles. The fastest street Hemi on this list is the 1970 Plymouth Hemi Cuda with a 13.10 second quarter mile, traveling at 107.1 miles per hour, and was also the fastest muscle car of 1970. Plymouth produced 666 1974 126 Hemi Cudas, including 652 hardtops and 14 convertibles. The 1970 Plymouth Cuda Hemi was a high-performance muscle car produced by the Plymouth Division of Chrysler Corporation. It was based on the Plymouth Barracuda and was fitted with the powerful 426 cubic inch Hemi V8 engine, one of the most powerful engine options in the lineup. We want to hear from you. What is your favorite 426 Hemi Mopar muscle car?